Hey y'all, what's up? It's Richie, healthconsciouslife.com, and this is Mindful Moves and Meditation. So, today I want to do a special uh, stress, anxiety, uh, depression, PTSD, relief version. Um, so, first thing I want you to do is we're just going to do a basic um, kind of like pre pre-test to see the flexibility level before and after. So just with your legs straight, trying to touch your toes. We got my little stopwatch here to keep us on track. Which should be about 15 minutes. So settle in, relax, enjoy the ride. Um, keep your knees straight, you know, be honest so you know where you're at. Let the head drop. And we're also going to let the head drop to the right. See how far that is, that ear is from your shoulder? You want to get it down <laughs> to the shoulder eventually. Other side. Down. Try not to let your back bend. Just let your head drop straight down. And we'll do these again at the end so you see the difference in your body. And. Now look back. You can hold the back of your head if you have your, you know, sore neck. Um, and the reason we do that is because flexibility really helps relieve um, any kind of stress, mental or physical. Um, and the more you get rid of muscle tension, the more you actually, you can be more clear and calm so uh, we're gonna do breathing meditation and some stretching some yoga made easy uh, as i like to say uh, things so i'm just gonna check the agenda here make sure we stay on track uh, so yeah real quick now i want you to sit up straight and we're just gonna take some deep breaths i always like to have you guys breathe while i talk so we get stuff done here <laughs> so deep breaths through your nose Exhale, nice long exhale. So I call it the birthday breath. You can breathe out through your nose or through your mouth. Just whatever you do, make it long. Elongate your breath, your exhale. So take a big deep in breath. And then exhale. Nice and long. Now keep doing that while I go blah, 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 blah. Uh, so breathing is one thing that you can do to help calm your mind down because um, the way I heard it explained once is your mind is like a little golden retriever puppy. If you don't give it something to focus on, it's just going to run around and like try to bite everything. So if you give your mind something to focus on, like your breathing, you're doing conscious breathing, your mind has less energy to focus on all the other things that are causing you stress, anxiety, depression, PTSD, and everything else. So breathing is one key component to helping this. Um, so I, all right, we've got about one and a half minutes. Gotta stay on track here. So I had a, a lot of experience with um, stress, anxiety, depression. I went through um, like a good year of just non-stop anxiety. You know, I guess things just built up in my subconscious. I never focused on them. And uh, eventually, uh, doing acupuncture, it kind of ripped those things out to, to uh, the front of my conscious, into the, my consciousness <laughs> in the forefront. And um, I had to just deal with so many fears that were just in, in negative thoughts and all these things that were built up inside of me um, so I had to confront those and uh, yoga breathing meditation were three things that really helped me uh, so if you ever need more help please let me know comment or send me a message but um keep doing that deep breathing um, and yeah so sometimes the only thing that you can do with fear is face your fears <laughs> There's no easy way around it, um, but there's always things that you can do to stop your mind from running away with itself. 
um, and just again we feed we experience what we focus on so if we focus on negativity or our worst case scenarios that's it's going to cause a lot of anxiety and depression and things like that um, so I can't say I personally have you know I've been in the line of duty with you know in, in battle and, and have PTSD from that so I can't say I can directly relate to people with PTSD but I did have some you know pretty traumatic experiences as a child and you know again through breathing meditation and yoga I was able to just stop letting those things control me so um, all right so we're gonna move on we're gonna lay down we're gonna do what I like to call a guided meditation so I'm just gonna call out each part of your body and when you hear that part just kind of um, think about that focus on that body part and again if you're focusing on a body part that's less energy for your mind to focus on all the other negative things or fears anxiety provoking thoughts so we're gonna hit it with double whammy uh, we're gonna focus on our breathing and different parts of our body so we're really getting out of our head into our body be nice and zen it's like Snoopy all right so you can just lay down you want to you know you could always sit up straight too if you want uh, sit in a chair and just sit anywhere comfortable but we are going to I'm going to lay down make sure that your your head's not tilted back so put something under your head if you have to and we're just gonna take those deep breaths I want you to focus on your breathing um, feel your belly moving up and down with each breath in each part of your body as I talk through it. So, starting at your head. Wait, I started at the wrong end. We're gonna start at our feet. <laughs> Just focusing on your feet. And I like to let my knees rest on each other. Your back's nice and flat. Focus on your feet and try to feel all 10 of your toes all at the same time. And if you wanna add to this, you know some calming effect you can put on you know some whatever your favorite light music is you know like i usually youtube like um calm meditation music or spa music or something like that or you can just go outside or just listen listen to me blab <laughs> so focusing on your feet trying to feel all the circulation go to your feet your toes I'm trying to see if you can feel all 10 of your toes. Moving up through your feet, through your ankles, through your lower legs, your shins, your calf muscles, your knees. Feeling your thighs, front and the back, inner and outer thighs, through your glutes, all the way around your waist and your hips and your hands could be on your belly palms up at your side or over your head whatever floats your little meditation boat and moving up through your tailbone which is the lowest part of your back that you can below the lowest part of your back that you can feel on the floor Just trying to relax your lower back middle back and your upper back so relaxing behind your shoulder blades and feeling both arms trying to feel both of your arms all at one time and trying to see if you can feel both of your hands and all ten fingers now remember, keep doing that breathing. Deep breaths in, slow breaths out. Now I want you to see if you can feel all 10 fingers and all 10 toes all at one time. Now moving back through your hands, through your arms, into your neck, 
your face, relaxing muscles around your eyes and your head. Now just feeling your whole entire body all at one time. Feel your belly moving up and down with each breath. Feel your lungs expanding and contracting with each breath. We're just going to lay for another minute and then we'll get started with some mindful moves and flexibility. Right. Now I want you to bring your knees into your chest. Hold one wrist with the other if you can. You don't have to pull them into your chest. Just hold, hold your knees as close as they go next to each other. And we're gonna roll them to the side. And we're gonna sit up. We're gonna go from the top down, trying to get rid of some muscle tension which stores stress and all that junk in our bodies. So just letting your head drop to the side. You can add the weight of your hand. Remember, just don't yank. I like to look down too a little bit. So it's kind of like diagonally looking down. Remember, keep your back up. Just let the neck drop. You can sit on that opposite hand. All right, other side, so straight to the side. They're sitting up straight. Let's see if I can angle this up a little bit. There we go. The head drop to the side. And if you don't like sitting on the floor, you can sit in the chair, do the same thing. All right, looking diagonally. You put the opposite hand underneath the opposite side of your butt. All right, let the head drop. Again, sit straight up. Let the head drop. You may notice it kind of drops in stages. The muscles get so tight. And you can hold your head with one hand. I like to put my other hand on the floor. Right, we're gonna just do some arm over and unders. Loosen up. And I wanna pull that one arm across. You loosen up that neck at the same time if you want. <laughs> and try not to twist with it. Try to stay square. And pull that arm across until you feel a little bit of a stretch. And put that arm behind. So this is 
technically stretching the tricep. And left arm across. And behind. Right. What we got next here? Oh, so I'm gonna put this up here. Come with me. All right. So I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale. Bring those shoulders together in the back a little bit. The shoulder blade. Palms up. You could uh, twist your neck back too if you want. Or if that's too strenuous for your neck, take a deep breath in. Exhale. Kind of stick your chest out. You can stick your butt out a little bit too. I'm going to show you how to do this one in a chair if you have it. Call this the executive lean. So you just kind of bend backwards over the chair and hold your head. Again, if you have any neck or back or serious injuries, definitely get cleared for physical activity before you do any of this. All right. And uh, from the chair or the floor, gonna put the soles of your feet together and you're just gonna bend forward if you can try to touch your head to your feet Another good one is to do them uh, separately. Put one ankle on the other thigh, bend forward. I'm gonna hold this for about 20 more seconds. All right, other ankle on the other thigh. So I always shoot for 15 minutes, but I usually make it 20. <laughs> but at least I have the stopwatch, because if I didn't, it'd probably go like 30 or 40. <laughs> I'm getting better with time, y'all. All right, so we're gonna do a lunge. I want you to just kind of lunge forward. Can y'all see me? I don't think so. I'm going to bring it back down. There we go. There you go. And we're loosening up those back hip flexors. You can use that chair for support. Let the head drop. And again, there's modifications with this that make it five, ten times more effective with the muscle release system that I created. Uh, after wrestling, boxing, and fighting MMA. So let me know if you've really got some serious issues like sciatica or something that, that you want to take this to the next level. Let me know. And we're going to bend back. And we're going to turn this into a calf stretch. I like to have the chair here because it helps lean on. And just pulling the bottom of your foot back. If you have knee problems, you could always use garden pads or blankets or a pillow or something to put underneath that knee. It's amazing how tight our calf, calves get in our legs. All right, other one. It's our last one, y'all.
All right. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Please share this. Uh, if you want to donate, I have some links on there on the post. Um, and always message me, contact me if you want. Um, if you want anything, holistic personal training, nutrition, strength, cardio, flexibility, help with sleep, plant-based meal plans, whole food supplements, healthconsciouslife.com. Um, and it's also holisticpersonaltraining.org. Two different names, same website. So go ahead, remember I promised we were gonna do a post test. Trying to touch your toes. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely feel a little more flexible. And head to the side, head to the other side. Down, back. If you hear like a lot of cracks in your neck or your body, that's good. That means things are starting to loosen up. But um, hopefully you guys feel better already, mentally as well as physically. Um, again, there's a lot of tricks to controlling this, the mind. Uh, so please let me know if you want more help with that. I have a meditation page uh, on the website and uh, I teach meditation as part of holistic personal training. Each pro personal training session you get strength, cardio, flexibility, nutrition, uh, sleep, breathing meditation, yoga, everything. So as always, don't just stand there. Do some meditation. Be healthy. All right, y'all. Have a good one.